All right, it's summer and that marks the transition between 2022 models and now the 2023 models are coming out. So in this video, we're gonna be answering the really popular question of should I buy a late model 2022 or should I go for the early model 2023? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, we're Will and Jen and we make educational RV related videos like this on Wednesday and then we have vlogs on Sunday. So if you haven't seen our vlog from last Sunday, we were in Helen, Georgia with my parents. We did a lot of cool like hikes and we went kayaking in Helen. It was a really fun time. So make sure after you watch this, you check out that video. But again, today we're going to be getting into the, the hot topic right now, which is should I buy a 2022 or should I go for the next year, a 2023? And there are a lot of to consider um, and so we're gonna be going through all of those kind of consideration points you know price features and stuff like that and everything that you would need to consider before you make that purchase so we're gonna jump right into it all right so the biggest factor that people usually take into consideration when answering this question is price right that's what a lot of this boils down to and there's really no clear-cut answer it's really cut can kind of be a little confusing but here's the thing either way um as far as price goes it's probably not going to make too big of a difference and we'll break it down for you first because if it, it doesn't matter who you're sitting in front of if you're sitting in front of somebody trying to sell you a late model 2022 they're going to give you all the features and all the reasons why you want a last year's model 2022. if you're sitting in front of somebody who's trying to sell you a 2023 model they're going to do the same for the 2023. there's there's advantages to both so we'll start with the late model 2022s. Pros are a lot of times you can get higher discounts because uh, the, the dealership wants to go ahead and move that off the lot to clear the way for the 2023 models. Because once the 2023 model hits their lot, they wanna focus on selling that um, and not have this lingering, you know, last year's model that people are looking at. So um, you, can, you can definitely get better discounts on last year's model the flip side to that and again these are just the financial aspects the flip side to that is um especially over the last couple of years there's been price increase after price increase after price increase there are typically price increases but only one or two a year I, this past year there have been tons of them so if you take a rv that started at fifty thousand at the beginning it, if you got a version one 2022 model it might have been fifty thousand. now a last final version 2022 model might be 65,000. So it's kind of like, you know, you're paying for the same unit, but just due to price increases, it's gone up 15,000. Now, the problem with that is that when NADA, if you go to trade it in um, and you go on NADA, they're only going off of the 50,000, which was version one. So you kind of take a little bit of a bigger hit on the last year's model. Again, the flip side to that is you're gonna get bigger discounts. So now coming over to the early model 2023, you're having your biggest price increase when they transition from 2022 to 2023s. So you are taking the biggest price increase, but now you're at the early version 2023, which is right in line with what NADA is gonna recognize that you paid for it. So when everybody else is paying the price increases throughout the year, yours is gonna be lower. So it really kind of comes down to, hey, you're paying more today, but when you go to trade in, in however many years, you're gonna get a little bit more for it as well. Whereas with the last year's model, you're paying less now, but you're also gonna get less when you go to trade it in because NADA, the way that they recognize it. So I think to answer that question, you really have to kind of figure out what your plan is with the RV. How long are you gonna keep it? If you're keeping it forever, truthfully, resale value doesn't matter that much. Um, and resale value is hard anyways, because it's so so unpredictable. But if you are planning on, you know, if you're the type to trade it in every two or three years, truthfully, a, an early model 2023 might be a little bit better. All right, the next big point that you wanna consider is the features between the 2022 and the 2023. Now, typically, when you have a new model year, manufacturers will make some big innovations, some, you know, changes that would be a big decision point and like which one do you want this year it's a little bit more of a mute point solely because for the last two years there's been such a high demand for rvs and just like a lack of inventory so manufacturers have been really focused on production so you'll probably find that if you're looking at an integra vision for 2022 and 2023 as an example you probably won't find that there's a lot of big differences in terms of features between the two because again the, they were making the 2023s 
starting that in 2022 when the focus was really production, not innovation. Now, what you'll probably find is once we get to next year and we're looking at 2024 models, that's where you'll start to see that, hey, there's actually some big feature changes because finally in 2023, fingers crossed, manufacturers could breathe a little bit and start looking at spending more time on innovation, new features, new ideas and layouts and everything. So normally this is more of a conversation. I think it really just depends on the RV you're looking at. Obviously go online and look at a 2022 floor plan versus 23, look at the features and stuff. Um, a lot of them you'll probably see there's not much difference, but it really just depends on the RV and the manufacturer. The next big thing that you also want to think about is the options and what features and everything that you want on it. Because here's the thing, you can't order a 2022 anymore. So you're going to be stuck with what they have on the lot. So when you go to the lot, if you want last year's model to save the money, you may find that you end up having to compromise, have to compromise a little bit based on what they have on the lot. And a lot of times they order them uh, kind of, you know, bare bones stock because you know, when they go to advertise that unit, they want to be able to advertise the lowest price. And then you can always order options off of that if it's something that you want. So if there's specific options that you want, you need to either make sure that the dealership can um, adjust and add those on, or you need to make sure that that one that's in stock has those options that you want. If not, you're going to be kind of stuck ordering a 2023 next year's model to get those options or compromising and not getting the options that you want. Truthfully, I don't, a lot of times I don't think it's worth compromising, but you have to pair, compare those prices. How much more is it gonna be to get the exact options that you want? Um, typically that's gonna be the better way to go because if you get something you don't like, you know, that's gonna be a lot more financial uh, hit than it would be just to order the right way the first time and get what you want. All right, so to wrap it all up, our final point is gonna be talking about trade-ins and how that's impacted. So it's really, we can go into this a lot and it would be kind of like a whole nother can of worms. So we'll do another video all about trade-ins, which you might find when you go to trade in your unit is a lot of times they kind of play with the numbers a little bit, right? And if you have your new unit here, right, that you're looking to purchase and you have your trade-in here, if you're buying a new unit from them, a lot of times they'll try to give you more for your trade-in and just make money, more money on like one or the other, basically. So rather than like trying to sell you really high and give you super low trade, in value hopefully most of the time they'll kind of give you more for your trade in value and it's kind of compensated by the money that they're making uh, on the new unit well what happens with the last year's model is they mark that price way down to get it moved off their lot so then they don't have as much room they need to kind of make up a little bit more on the trade in so the problem is is that you might get a really good deal on a last year's model but then when you go to trade in for a, a new one uh, you're going to be really unhappy with your trade-in number, honestly. But at the end of the day, it just kind of, you got to look at that bottom line because it doesn't matter if they increase the trade-in. I mean, if they increase the new one just to give you more for the trade-in, it all balances out the same. So don't be totally alarmed if you see that because there were so many times when we were in sales, um, we had a unit that was super low and we got as aggressive as we could on their trade. And, um, you know, we just couldn't give them a whole lot more because we kind of had to take some of the, normally you would take some of the money from the new unit and apply it towards the trade to buy it at a reasonable price and um, you just didn't have money to do that so we would give really like a really really good deal but people didn't think so because the trade number was so low and it's just kind of all the perspective and that's why it's so important to look at that bottom line not just those uh individual numbers all right guys, real quick before we wrap up, I wanted to tell you about a new service that we're offering and it's an RV strategy call with Will. So if you guys found this video helpful and you're interested in um, learning more about buying your next RV, which RV is right for you, how to negotiate price, um, what to do at the financing table or any of that, or even selling your RV, um, that's what the strategy call is there for. So I'll put the link down below so you can sign up for a one hour slot with Will. And again, um, the call is really tailored around what you're needing advice on. So make sure you check that out and thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss future videos from us and we will see you on sunday for our next vlog bye guys